Hey there, Smoke Master D coming at you with another episode of Barbecue Buyer's Guide, this time to Ceramic Kamado Grills. And this is part one, the overview of all the makers and what they make, and the accessories. Decided to break this up, and the Grill v. Grill part two will be coming out soon. So keep your eyes open for that. All right, we got some chapter times here. You know, if you need to skip ahead or you're interested in one maker in particular. Now, Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll have some more great content out for you soon. I'll be switching back and forth between countdowns and barbecue buyer's guide, so hopefully I can appease everybody that way. But let's keep going. All right, so first I just wanted to talk about the pros and cons of these Kamado style grills. <laughs> And firstly, you know, they hold heat very well, and that has to do with the ceramic. It has a lot of thermal mass there, and that thermal mass is going to hold on to the heat and send it back out and sort of keep those temperatures stable. Now, one of the cons is the ceramic can break at high temperatures, and that's especially true for these ceramic-style fireboxes. So... You may find yourself in a position wherein you have to replace the firebox, which is never a fun thing if that happens. Like I said before, they can cook at, hold a wide range of temperatures very well. You can go all the way down to, you know, smoking, all the way up to baking, like pizza temperatures, even like 600 degrees. You can pop out some pizzas pretty quick that way. So they're very versatile in, in that matter. Now, one of the cons is even though they try to use vertical space with, uh, you know, different tiers, it's sort of limited, especially when you consider the use of vertical space in other cookers like drum smokers. And you can check out my drum smoker episode if you're interested in that. But it is a little bit more limited in this in that you you only seem to be able to use grates and not hanging so much. Now, there is a lot of accessories available on these grills and some makers more than others. And you'll see that as we go along. One of the cons is that the main unit is going to be very expensive. And then when you add all these accessories, the, the expenses can just grow and grow and grow. You know, ceramic grills are on the more expensive side, especially when you consider something like, uh, you know, your regular kettle or even uh, some of these drum smokers that can get pricey, but there's several that are, are cheaper than, than pretty much any anything we're going to talk about today. Now, another part of the pros is it's possibly a do-it-all smoker. You know, you could have this Kamado and it could do everything for you. You may, and, and you know, maybe that would be a savings instead of having several different smokers or grills. So if you looked at it in that perspective, it could be a, an actual money saver. But another con is that it's very heavy. So if it tips over, it's going to break, uh, <laughs> you know, like Humpty Dumpty, as they say. So you have to be careful with it. Now, one of the pros as well is the innovations. I'm thinking of one company in particular, uh, and, and we'll get to that company soon. One of the cons, airflow for smoking. Now, when you think about a Kamado grill, any really of these vertical grills like your drum smokers and your bullet smokers that have you know the charcoal at the bottom and then two vents, one on the bottom and one on the top, airflow is part of it. And, and part of the ceramic grill, especially in holding heat so well, is that to keep that temperature, to keep lower temperatures, you really have to restrict airflow, but it's also not going to get you the airflow and the smoke around your meat as quick as something like, you know, an offset smoker where, you know, the velocity of that air going over the meat is really going to be rather good. Um, that's a, a problem with ceramic grills and smoking. You know, they do a whole lot better in grilling and in baking, you know, baking pizzas or, or bread or what have you. But the smoking side of things, even though that's something they tout, 
that is really not in general they really have problems there but there's one innovation that we'll talk about soon that may may be something that can overcome that so all right now the basics of the modern komodo cookers um and, and i i think that they were a little bit different back in you know ancient japan but you know this is basically what they look like today you know the air is going to go into that sliding damper. Some of them have uh, different damper configurations. There's gonna be charcoal fire, you know, option of, of the wood chunks. Most people are gonna be using lump charcoal because it's not going to get any sort of chemicals into the ceramics, which absorb stuff. So lump charcoal usually, You've got the ceramic shell, but you also have maybe another ceramic insert or two, one of which is going to be that firebox. You might have that heat diffuser up there in the middle. Uh, most of these Kamados won't come with it. It'll, you'll have to buy it separately. And then you're going to have your grate systems on top and then, you know, some sort of swivel damper at the very top. And the top's going to be a lid and it's going to have a hinge. And that is the basic setup. And then you're going to have cart a cart with the wheels below. Hopefully, it's going to keep that Kamado really steady so it doesn't fall over and break. All right. And one note about wood density science in Kamados. So a lot of these Kamados we're going to see either have tables made out of wood or they're going to have side shelves made out of wood. The thing about all this wood is that if you put stuff on it that's really hot, so you have a cast iron skillet, right? And you've just, you know, seared your steak and you're taking it out of the Kamado and you put it on the side table that's made out of wood. It could make burn marks on your side tables. So to help you think about this, you know, the density of wood really equals the heat resistance. Uh, because it takes more energy to you know, make it smoke if it's denser. And you, you see that when you're using denser woods in an offset smoker, right? You have to have higher temperatures and heat energy to get it to catch, right? So we're going to see these three different types of wood. I think technically bamboo is a grain, but acacia and cypress. And cypress is, you know, pine, a kind of pine. So acacia is going to be the best pounds per cubic foot, 62, the big green egg. Then cypress, about around half of that with 32 pounds per cubic foot in density. Then the bamboo is going to be the lightest of all. And those are the, the makers who use it. They're on the right. Now, this doesn't take into account, you know, if they have some sort of heat resistant finish. And I wasn't able to find out much about those whether they could be there or not but just something to keep in mind when you're you're looking at these uh, grills and maybe you know if you're at some sort of dealership you could ask maybe they know but um a lot of them are creating thermoplastics and they have that as their side shelves that are supposed to have an even higher heat resistance what i'm not covering uh, i only wanted to do 18 to 24 inch ceramic models I'm not covering Komodo Komodo. They may have a smaller one, but when I looked on their, their website, their smallest was a 32 inch. They're wildly expensive. So that's another thing. Now, the Char Griller Acorn, we are gonna talk about an acorn, but the one that is a little over 300 does not use ceramics. There's a, a Weber also that doesn't use ceramics and I believe some sort of keg uh, the difference between having a double wall and ceramics, the ceramics act as a heat shelf. And, you know, if if the temperature wants to dip because, you know, the fuel has gone down, the heat in the ceramics is going to help supply some of that and steady the temperature. Whereas a double wall, you know, has air in between it, that heat shelf component just won't be there. So it's going to hold in its heat if you know it's raining on the grill or something but if if the the fuel is taking a dip or is running out um it will lose internal temperature quicker than a ceramic one because of that 
And lastly, you know, 13 inch diameter, I'm not covering anything less than 18. So, you know, your juniors, your minis, whatever they are, uh, you'll have to look at those uh, yourself, or maybe I'll do an episode on it one day. All right, and number one, uh, we're gonna look at three different uh, subcategories here. And these are companies that have a ready package deal. And we're gonna start with Vision, so Vision Grills. Uh, I just basically went with the ones that you can get from Home Depot. So we have the HD series there for $5.99, Pro for $6.99, it comes with the cover. I believe the Elite Deluxe and Maxis also come with covers and they're $12.99.99 and $15.49.99. Now Vision on their website, they sell more series than this, but I felt like this was a good representation of what they have. And it, and it makes things easier. So if you want to look into some of their other series, go look on their website. But this, I decided to just make it easy and go through Home Depot here. As we look at these, we have the HD over here, basic slide top dampers. It's, it's a classic model. It has the classic features, has thermoplastic side shelves. So that's going to help with if you're putting anything on it that's hot. Stainless steel grates. So around 20 inches in diameter, three or two inches squared. Spring assist hinge, you're gonna see that a lot. There's a few companies that have, you know, one better than spring assist hinge. Uh, felt gasket, almost all of these have felt gasket except for one company that has a, a better gasket. So those are gonna help retain the heat in that lid area. If we go over to the Pro, it's 699. This is, a pretty good price compared to some of these ones we're going to talk about has two tier stainless steel grates so that's going to double your your cooking space about with 604 inches also you know same same size bowl same size egg whatever you want to call it you look at those dual vent dials has the numbers there so that's going to give you an easier time sort of fixing in on what temperature you want the pull out ash catcher and there's also a slot for an electric charcoal lighter you know you just put that in there turn it on i believe it heats up like a heating element and lights your charcoal so i i think this pro with cover is a very good deal and of course they have you know premium Grills as well, and this Deluxe and Maxis, they represent those. The Deluxe, again, is the 20 inch, so another 604 inches, so the same as the Pro, but it's going to have this color coded top vent that I believe is, is a little bit better. Instead of the spring hinge, it's going to have this easy lift hinge, which is probably going to make it even better on opening and closing. The free swivel dials, so instead of numbers, you know, I, I imagine it's going to have a much easier spin there to, to really lock in on the temperature you want. It's going to come with the diffuser lava stone. And that's something that you're really going to have to watch out with these um, packages is do they have a heat diffuser? And, and the really important thing about that is without the heat diffuser, you really can't go down to smoking temperatures or go up to baking temperatures, you know, creating the convection oven or the smoker. So it's very important to have for the versatility of the product. So it's almost a, a must have. On these grates that has a cast iron bottom, and a stainless steel top. So if you want the sear marks from the, the cast iron, you got it right there, all included. It's gonna come with this LED light, you know, if you're grilling at night. The cart has some really good storage ability there for some of the accessories. I believe it, it comes with the electric starter, so that's all included. A lot, a lot of the, uh, the best stuff is just included in this package for $12.99.99. Now, the Maxis is a little bit larger in size, so that's going to create more space. It's basically the same in every other regard, but a little bit bigger, so 724.5 inches squared there. All right, and here we see the Vision accessories. We've got that electric charcoal starter there, 1648 wraparound cover, 299 
Again, the lava stone heat diffuser, the, it's a must have. You're gonna have to buy that for the pro and or for the HD one, and it's about 50 bucks. So just in your mind, say, I need, I need to spend 50 more dollars on, on those two. The half moon griddle for 50, you know, if you want a whole griddle, you're gonna have to go 100, right? Now, they have a package deal over here. Um, but let's look over here. The rib rack, $22.99. Chicken roaster, $19.99. If you want that LED light uh, that comes with the Maxis and the Lux, you know, $24.99. They have two package deals here. The diffuser, rib rack, electric starter, and holster, gloves, kitchen stand, and half moon griddle for $188.09. Which, um, you know, I'd have to really break it down to see if that was such a great deal. But it's, you know... They're usually trying to save you a few bucks when they package these things together, so it could be worth your while. Then they have a smoking accessory kit with the rib rack, a fish grilling basket, which you didn't really see anywhere else. I'm, I'm sure they must sell it separately, too. The uh, A mop, you know, if you want to mop some stuff on your smoke, smoking meat. Um, chicken roaster, rib rack, and gloves. And that's for 96 If you want a cart, in like a real cart, it's $4.99. They also have it in brown. Uh, it's made from powder-coated aluminum. All right, and now we're on to Kamado Joe. The Classic 2, $12.99. Big Joe 2, $2,061.87. Classic 3, $16.22.90. And Big Joe 3, $27.99. dollars So they have three different series, uh, one, two, and three. Series two and three have some very interesting features, so let's get into those. All right, so starting with series two, we'll get to the series three in a second. Have that weather and mold resistant top damper. It's kind of like an upturned saucer right there on the top. It's gonna keep rain and moisture out. Really great, uh, especially if you're cooking in the rain, you know, you can still go. That ceramic is gonna be basically weatherproof, but that damper, you know, you don't want water coming down into the grill. That airlift hinge apparently is really great. Uh, they say it takes away 96% of the weight of the lid. From what I can tell, it's the best hinge out there. Uh, so definitely a step up from those spring lids. The two-tier divide and conquer system. So, you know, you can create two-zone cooking right you know if you want to sear over here and then smoke to temp over here so that is a really great option you're going to have your ash tool and grid gripper so if you want to take the grid and sort of move it to different levels while you're doing this two zone cooking that can be a really awesome thing now if we look at the bottom here at this patented multi-panel firebox the reason why this is so great, you know, when I was talking about the pros and cons earlier in this video, one of the things I said was these fireboxes would break, right? Because, you know, the heat would be so high, they would break. And, and the reason for that is that things expand when they're heated. So if you heat something up and it expands enough and it's rigid enough, it's going to crack. But if you take this firebox and you put them into separate pieces, when they expand, they're just going to fit together better instead of become rigid and break. So really amazing design work there. And since they've patented it, nobody else can do it. They also have an ashtray and a fiberglass gasket there, which is gonna be better than the felt. So a whole lot of upgrades here. It comes with the cradle. It comes with the wheels on the cradle the side shelves, the heat deflector is also included. So you're gonna have both moons of that heat deflector. Really an amazing package all together. Now, we're gonna look at the Series 3 and it has everything from there that we just discussed, but it also is gonna have these upgrades. It's gonna have this divided charcoal basket. It's going to help you do the two-zone cooking even better if you want more heat on one side of the grill rather than the other. This patent-pending slow roller is a very interesting, I say interesting, it's, it's on the verge of amazing, 
the way that they have created this to create more convection and smoke circulation in their smoker. Now, the one thing that I'm not certain about is smoke quality, which you need enough airflow to burn wood or charcoal at the right temperature to create the smoke you want. So if you put the wood chunks down there, and they're still burning at a temperature that creates dirtier smoke rather than cleaner smoke, this sort of airflow um, increase at the top may not increase the level of barbecue to its highest level. But I do see this as a, a step in the right direction towards better barbecue in a Kamado cooker. And maybe my concerns about that are unfounded. Maybe they do have enough airflow to burn cleanly enough. So if you have a Kamado and you're able to get that hazy blue clean smoke and really great barbecue flavor from it, do uh, let us know in the comments. The other thing is that they've increased the number of tiers to three in their divide and conquer system. So even more space for cooking. They have an upgraded cart there that's going to be able to hold all of your accessories and your half moons and that slow roller. So this Kamado Joe Series 3 is really the pinnacle of Kamado cookers at the moment. And that may change. Somebody else may develop something better. But for right now, they, they are the top as far as I can see. All right, and here are the accessories. And these accessories, some of them are really fun, like this dojo. It, cre it makes it into a pizza cooker, even, you know, with using your peel to get it out of there. I really like it. For the classic uh, $249.99 and the Big Joe $299.99. The Jotisserie also $229.99 and $279.99. And then you're going to find all of these companies, well, I say all, Many of these companies are going to have these half moons uh, with their divided sets and stuff. And, and they have some good ones. The half moon fish and veggie, so $79.99, $109.99. The cast iron reversible griddle, you're going to see that several places here, $59.99, $69.99. The soapstone, I guess the, the great thing about that is that it's not going to stick to it. That's $99.99 and $139.99. Cast iron. So remember that that higher level of the vision grill came with the cast iron. This one you have to get it sort of separately. It's forty nine ninety nine, or and on the Big Joe fifty nine ninety nine. Sear plate. If you just want to put it on top of one of the the regular grates, fifty nine ninety nine. There, uh, whole pizza stone classic is forty nine ninety nine. Big Joe fifty nine ninety nine. Deep dish pizza, $49.99, and the ceramic beer can chicken stand, $19.99. All right, and now we have Sapphire, and they have the large there, $11.99. That's going to be the bronze, and also they have the XL down there in bronze as well, $17.99. Now the platinum over here, the large is $16.49, and the platinum XL is $21.99. Let's take a look at some of their features. Okay, so one of the, the really best features that they have here is this crucible firebox. So just like with the Kamado Joe, how they have their special firebox, this is similar in that it looks like it's several different bricks put together that are refractory bricks, meaning that it could actually be even better than the firebox design from Kamado Joe. Now, Kamado Joey, remember, had a patent on different ceramic pieces, but it appears that by changing it to refractory bricks, which have even higher heat resistance, that they were able to get around that and create um, something similar that's not going to break at high heat. So really cool that way. Uh, we also have this wood chip feeder port. Uh, now, on the bronze ones, they're not going to give you that tube. Uh, we're going to see that they will in, in the platinum. But you can still put, you know, your wood chips into the fire through that port uh, when you want to do the smoking. Now, for the bronze, they have a powder-coated uh, metal for the cart. 
We're going to look at this multi-tier system down here, and they don't include the heat deflectors with the bronze. They do, however, give you the ash tool. But it's a three-tier system, uh, very similar to some of the others. They have a towel holder on uh, the side of that side shelf. I believe those are bamboo wood for the bronze. Now, for the large and the XL, we have 283 for the, the first one. But if you get that secondary top shelf, what we're going to see later on, all together, you could have either 746 or for the XL, 1,095 inches squared. So um, you can get a lot of stuff into these Kamado grills. Now let's take a look at the Platinum. Pretty much stainless steel components everywhere, including the hinge and the hinge springs. The top damper even down there. You get that ash pan that's going to go into the stainless steel charcoal basket, which comes with a divider. You're going to get the heat deflector included. Uh, stainless steel cart, you know, we said that the two would be included as well. So everything stainless steel is going to last for a really long time. So all in all, a lot of good things here with the Platinum Series. Now we've got the accessories. They've got a cover, a large $59.99, XL $76.99, that wood chip feeder tube if you get the bronze and you want it, $25.99. Second level, great. So a lot of people, everybody should, I suppose, want that, even if you get the Platinum $54.95 and $83.55 for the XL. The pizza stone, so you can get a pizza stone heat deflector that's solid one piece, $28.59 or $54.99. The two piece heat deflector, if you get that bronze series and you want heat deflector, that could be the one to go with. And that's $39.99 for large and $57.99 for XL. We've got a chicken roasting rack, $10.99. You can get this crucible upgrade kit if you have the bronze and you want that ash collector, as well as that charcoal basket with the divider. Largest 127.43, XL 143.63. Two half grids for 79.99 or 89.99. Steel cooking plate. Uh, I, I probably would be tempted to use that as a, a drip pan. But yeah, I guess you can cook on it as well. 7.99. A grill light for 24.99. A rib or roast rack. You know, you can flip it over for 19.75. And a grid lifter. I haven't seen one that looks like this yet. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that one works. I guess it's, you know, you, you kind of put it in there and release and it catches it. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, and now we've got some Kamado companies that are a la carte. And when I talk about a la carte, that means that they're sort of orientated towards selling everything separately, including the main unit or the main grill. Now, they do have packages, and I'm going to be showing you the packages first, just because I, I find packages more helpful. I'm not a huge fan of a la carte, but I did want you to know that they have that, if that's what you want to do. Now, Primo, they have a la carte but they also have these all-in-one packages which i like better truthfully truthfully i hate a la carte <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you i don't like it at all uh, i think that if you you buy something you know you should expect what you need to use it to come with it <laughs> but that's the way they're doing it so we're gonna have to talk about it a little bit but with these all-in-one packages they're gonna have the cradle and uh, the the side shelves. So and and there's two companies that I saw online that had these prices. The HomeFlameStore.com was the $14.99 there. And Barbecue Guys is $16.99. And and the Home Flame Store it's a sale price. They have some stuff on sale. They seem reputable, but you know by the time you see this video, whether they'll still have that sale, I don't know. So I wanted to give you both that the round one there is $8.99 and it's $999. And then the XL all-in-one is $17.99 and $19.99. Now the features. The most amazing feature of this Primo brand is the ovular shape. And the reason for that 
and they've they've patented it nobody else can do it is that you know if you have a huge brisket or if you have ribs right circles not their shape this ovular shape is really going to accommodate that size meat better than anything that's just round okay now they seem to have a built-in rain guard and that doesn't seem to be something on their earlier models in the all-in-one packages they have the ash tool and great gripper uh, they have side shelves there that look they look like some sort of thermoplastic there's not a whole lot of information on their website about these these things they have pictures and not a whole lot of information unfortunately now you're going to have to buy those second racks um, additional rack upgrades but it, it looks like it's 195 edition and 280 edition there i'm on those two and uh, i don't think that they have a second rack for the round one i'm not certain you could probably get a second rack even from some of these other companies now they're ceramic they have some sort of proprietary blend i don't know that it's going to be make things that much better but they do have it and and it's probably you know top of the line and so we have the accessories for primo here now the pizza stone they've got the glazed and they've got the natural and you see the different sizes and prices there 78 for 16 inch and then 54 for the natural the thing about glazing a pizza stone is that you know the pizza stone that's not glazed it it takes some of the moisture out of that dough it sort of sucks it in drying out the dough which is what you want to get a nice crisp dough and crust sometimes if you glaze the stone it's going to sort of keep it from doing that necessary function the trade-off though is that it's easier to clean so and the other thing about this is that they do have glazes where the glaze is micro fractured and then is still able to suck in some moisture and then still be easy to clean. What I don't know is whether they have the special glaze on this pizza stone or not. So one thing to keep in mind, I sent them an email. We'll see if they get back to me. Maybe I'll put it in the comments to this video if they do. Now, uh, they have that divider for the firebox. Again, that's going to help with the two-zone cooking if you want to do that. Stainless steel half-second level rack. So 54 and 59, you're going to have to get two if you want that full second level. It's going to be even more money. Half moon griddle, like I said, we're going to see those a lot. 64 and 74. Half moon searing grate, 59 and 69. Got the ash tool for 22. Great lifter for 22. And then the cleaning bar for 29. The cleaning bar, you know, you can just scrape along each of the bars to clean it. Deluxe rib rack for 50. Five or six racks of ribs in there. Uh, so that the sitter, you know, the turkey, you can do $37 or the chicken size for 34 cover. Uh, they only had it for large. I don't know if it's for the extra large as well, but it was $99. Heat deflector, they have the round for 109 and then the large for 163 and 326 Remember, you're going to want these heat deflectors. Like I said before, it's almost absolutely necessary to have any sort of versatility with these these grills so just you know tack that extra money on in your in your mind now uh so the accessories right cart no side tables is 339 the crazy thing is if you wanted to buy the side tables separately for the cart it'd be 449 you can get this cart with stainless steel side tables for 639 if you just add 449 and 339 together you know it really doesn't make any sense to get the cart with no side tables and then add them later you really want to get if you really want to know whether you want these side tables and then get the stainless steel now they have the wood cart and this is made from cypress wood we talked about cypress at the beginning large is going to be 799 and xl for 819 the compact xl one which strangely enough you know uh, i didn't see one for a compact for the large is going to be 589 so cheaper than both of those other two and then if you want stainless steel side tables for the large i believe these you know would go onto the grill itself like um that the models you see at the very top of the screen 
that would be one fifty five ninety nine. And here we have the big green egg. Now, the big green egg is the original. When I say original, I mean they're the people who popularized the Kamado grill. You know, if you go all the way back, it, it really came from Japan, of course. Uh, and then, you know, servicemen from World War II, they saw these Kamado style cookers there and they brought that back with them from the war. And eventually we got to this. But and getting to this, Big Green Egg was really the leader, sort of like the Traeger of Kamados. Uh, but, you know, this large package is going to be $14.69. And then this extra large package is going to be $19.89. All right. So I wanted to show you this really quickly. When you go to Big Green Egg's uh, website, first of all, you see that they want you to shop local. Um, so they have a, a strong dealership network, but, um, you know, you have to click on something else to get into their shop, right? So they want you to find a dealer to get up to this, where there is a shop button here, and this is what's actually going to get you to what you can get. And so, you know, these eggs, egg packages, and this is where you find, uh, that stuff, if you're interested in them and you see that they have all these things the large egg, egg nest composite egg mates eggs the gator grid gripper ash tool um they're going to give you some of their charcoal they probably want you to continue with their charcoal charcoal starters and uh their warranty which seems to be a good one and here we are with some of their accessories you've got that heat diffuser up there large 74.99 and xl 119.99 Deep dish pizza stone, $64.99, 14-inch pizza stone, $49.99. That grid gripper, $14.99. And here we go with the egg spander, large $189.99 and XL $269.99. One thing that you need to know about this egg spander is that it comes in a few different pieces. And if you take a look at the next thing there um, in the middle left, you'll see the two-piece egg spander. So that that one on the top right has that piece, the two piece, as well as that convector basket all the way to the middle right. So all of those are pieces in this expander um, full set. And you see it has that uh, smaller grate up top, as well as room for a grate below with the um, convector uh, ba lower basket. So it's going to open up into a three-tier system and uh, give you a lot more space and a lot more ability to do things. Uh, you've got your cast iron half grids there, large $32.99 and XL $49.95. The rain cap for $31.99. Uh, it's a little disappointing that instead of engineering it into the design of their top damper, they're taking an upcharge on that. Uh, drip pan, large $13.99, XL $19.99. The uh, convector basket, which we just talked about there. Half moon plancha and griddle, $79.95, and the XL for $79.99. Half moon perforated grid, large $24.95, XL for $29.95. And the half moon heat deflector, baking stone, so it's $29.95, and the XL for $44.99, which... Um, I think that they have the one piece heat diffuser in these packages. So you may find yourself buying uh, those, uh, you know, and you can use them as a baking stone. So that's fun. But yeah, that's even more on top uh, to make, make that expander thing work. All right. And now we've got these big green egg accessories. I decided to throw in the main unit there just because that has to be part of this whole a la carte business right so that large is 948.99 and the xl for 12.99 uh yeah and then you've got the nest and then if you buy the nest and think hey i want to be able to push this around easier they have that handle system that you can buy as well and, and add on and then they've got an integrated nest so if you figure out that you're going to want help pushing it around beforehand uh, you can just start with that, and you'll get the two sixty nine ninety nine or three nineteen ninety nine. Got a cover that fits for both uh, fifty nine ninety nine. 
the acacia wood side shelves there for $139.95. Uh, it looks like for both. Uh, so then uh, we have those covers there. And then the covers go with these different options that are besides uh, just doing their regular nest. And, and that's with the acacia wood table there at the bottom left. With the table, you're also going to have to get another nest, right? A table nest, $29.99 or $31.99 to add on to the wood table that's going to run you either $469.99 or $499.99. And then you've got this modular nest, and it comes with uh, it comes either for $428.95 or $429.99. And the idea is that you can add on different modules so that's the expansion frame there for $248.95. I don't believe it comes with anything in it. So you're going to have to buy the shelves, I guess, or either build the shelves yourself with that stainless steel one that's $118.95 or the wood ones over there for $99.99, either regular or distressed looking acacia wood. So altogether, these expansions and modules seem to be very expensive when you add it all up. Um, I would just go with the regular package that I showed you on the first page. But, you know, if you're trying to make a really interesting outside living space, maybe this is the way you want to go. Uh, and there's the composite side shelves for $169.99. I think I forgot to say that. And then lastly, you know, we have the one-off Kamados from non-Kamado companies. These are companies who you know, are in grilling somehow and they think to themselves, hey, we'll make a Kamado, right? So let's take a look at these two. All right, so we've got Grilly Grills and they've got the Kong for $849. Used to be, I believe, $799, but it's gone up about $50 in price. And here are the features. It has the bamboo side trays. We talked about bamboo at the beginning of the episode. Comes with two tiers of stainless steel grates, so it's 643 uh, stainless steel cart, right? Um, yeah, so most of these carts are made out of, you know, powder coated steel or, or something like that. But with a stainless steel cart, it's going to last a long time. A cast aluminum damper, two locking wheels. Apparently the, the wheels themselves are, are high quality, according to their video. Uh, stainless steel hinges and the components like um, those springs for the hinge, stainless steel. So that's a little bit better. The grates fold up all together for a, a sort of basic configuration. And, and the size, it's, uh, it may be a, a good deal. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out when we get to the Groovy Grill. I haven't crunched any of those numbers yet. So I'm as excited and looking forward to that as hopefully you are. Now the accessories, you know, you're going to need that heat diffuser, $64.99, the cover, $59.99. The only all-terrain cart, really, that I've seen for a Kamado, uh, $329, if that's what you want to do. Remember, you don't want to knock this thing over and break it, but that cart looks pretty sturdy, and uh, yeah, <laughs> the wheel shocks for the cart is are $12.99, cart cover, $59.99. The split heat diffuser, remember, you're going to want a heat diffuser, $64.99. The grill grate, $119.99. Pizza stone, $25.99. The kick ash basket, $84.99. The kick ash basket divider, $32.99. You know, the two zones. If you want to go two zones, they'll help you out that way. The kick ash can, right? So you want to wait to get that ash out of the bottom of your, your Kamado, $37.99, which may be worth it to you. And now we got Pit Boss. They, they have two, the K22 and 24. It seems like right now the K24 is sold out everywhere. So the K22, I believe, is still available. Yeah, they have a heavy-duty, soft, open lid hinge. I'd be interested to try that to see how it compares to some of the others. But that, I suppose, is a, a really good thing. Bamboo shelves. Uh, not much else. They they have the two-tier stainless steel grates. Those are good. You know, total 570 inches squared there on the 22 and 662 on the 899 K24. 
And the accessories, uh, and you'll notice this with these one-off companies, that, is that they have many fewer, right? Pizza Stone up top for $29.99. Heat Deflector, two different sizes, $39.99 or $49.99. Stainless Steel Wing Rack, $15.99. Cooking Grid Gripper, $8.99. And the cover, they only had it for the K22 there, and that's $60. Star Griller, Acorn. Now, crazy thing. Uh, the regular acorn is not a ceramic grill, but they came out with a ceramic acorn. And there it is for $649.99. 20 inch diameter, so we have 324 inches squared on the bottom, 141 on the top, so 465 in all. It's got porcelain coated grates, the ash removal drawer there. Uh, I think a lot of porcelain coating, so it may not... You know, if you scratch that porcelain, it may not be the best situation. But, you know, it's cheaper overall, so it could be a good thing. Accessories, they've got the heat deflector for $43.99, a must. Pizza Stone, 15-inch, $17.99. Grill cover, $62.99. A walk. Walks are fun. $14.99. Rib rack, $9.99. And the drip pan for $11.99. And lastly, we have the Bayou Classic. Uh, so, not a whole lot of information on their website. The one main thing I want you to know is that the cart is sold separately. I took the cart out. I, I did that with uh, my digital magic. <laughs> but all the pictures you're going to see are with the cart. But they don't sell the cart with it. So, they, And they say it, but if you don't see it and you think the cart is coming... You could be really disappointed. Now, this meat processing products to come is selling it for a whole lot cheaper than Bayou Classic themselves, $849.99. I guess that they are trustworthy, but uh, when you have such a significant discount, it sort of makes you wonder. And so shopthebayou.com has it for $1,100, and that appears to be Bayou Classic's own website. Bamboo side tables again. These one look, looks um, sort of thick there, so that's good. 19-inch reversible stainless steel grate. Not entirely sure why uh, making it reversible is good, but you can. It's 283 inches squared, so not not a whole lot. Um, couldn't find a heat deflector that they sold. You can probably get a heat deflector that will fit in there. But that's a little concerning to me. Pizza Stone, they sell for $44.50. The cart, which again is a must-have, is $149.99 or $225 on uh, the buyu.com website. So a little bit on the expensive side, and I don't know. All right, and now my initial thoughts. And, uh, you know, I really am looking forward to the next part in... In this where I'm going to be crunching the numbers and doing grill v grill to see where these things really fall uh, compared to each other. But just from what I've seen so far, I think that that pro from uh, Vision Grills uh, and Home Depot is a really great value. That's that's my initial thought. Not to say that I wouldn't, you know, that I'm not interested to compare it to, you know, like Pit Boss and the Acorn. Uh, the Acorn seems to be um, a good option as well, especially if uh, you're able to use the accessories from the, the cheaper Acorn, which I hope is, is true. The Sapphire, if I was going to go more expensive, Sapphire has some interesting stuff going on, I have to admit it, but it doesn't fire my imagination quite like Kamado Joe does with just their innovations, the quality that they have in, in their Kamados. Big Green Egg, it's uh, the original, so you have to kind of give it its due, but it doesn't interest me quite as much as the others. Um, the Primo, it's, it's kind of on the expensive side. I like the shape of the oval, but again, I don't know that that would ever, for me, outweigh uh, the the other innovations that I've seen from some of these other companies. If you do own one of these grills, uh, please do put your review in the comments, right? Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Hopefully the other viewers would like to see those too. 
And uh, as as I like to say, go get your smoke on, y'all.